I clock can see you. I clock watches you when you sleep. Eye clock is a light and sound emitting solar powered alarm clock. It is a personalized alarm clock made by the investigators to help the students, teachers, and the community to wake up on time. We, the investigators, chose this topic to prove that light and sound emitting solar powered alarm clock is efficient and useful for the community. We, the investigators, wish to help the community and the environment. Community. It helps people in managing time and comply to the things to be finished at a specific interval of time. Environment. Since it is solar powered, it requires less non-renewable energy to be used. The investigation is worth investigating because it will really help the community since now there are cases that people are suffering from tardiness. They get to be fired in their jobs, be late on their classes, and on their important appointments. Plus, it is an eco-friendly alarm clock so that means it will really help the environment. The second hypothesis states that the farther the distance of the alarm clock has the intensity of the subject hears. The independent variable of this hypothesis is the distance, while the dependent variable is the intensity of the sound. The investigators conducted the study in a dark room. First, they measured the distance required to be used in the experiment, and then the researchers measured the intensity with the use of the decibel. After having the different data, the researchers recorded the information on the table. Hypothesis 3 states that the nearer the distance of the subject, the greater is the range of the alarm clock towards the person. The independent variable is the distance of the subject, while the dependent variable is the range of the alarm clock towards the person. Testing of Hypothesis 3 The investigators conducted the experiment in a dark room to test the range of the light in accordance with the distance required using a measuring tape. They made sure that the device was on and fully functional. They set the alarm clock in a specific time that they were ready to measure the range of the light. They recorded the data and make a graph about the relationship of the range and the light. This is four. The fourth, the fourth hypothesis states that farther the distance of the alarm clock, the less efficient it is based on its effectiveness of the range of the alarm clock towards the subject. The independent variable in this hypothesis is the distance, while the dependent variable is the range of the alarm clock from the user. It's the process. The investigators conducted the experiment in a dark room to test the range of the light in accordance the distance required using a measuring tape. They, they made sure that the device is on and fully functional. They set the alarm in a specific time that they were ready to measure the range of the light. They recorded the data and made a graph about the relationship of the, relationship of the range and the light. Thank you. the 
louder the volume of the sound emitted by the light and the sound emitting from the powered alarm clock. The independent variable is the temperature and the dependent variable is the loudness of the sound. The investigators conducted the study in an air-conditioned room. First, they conducted the experiment without the air-conditioned unit turned for over two hours. They measured the temperature of the room using the thermometer. They, they set the alarm clock in a specific time that they were ready to record the data. They used a decibel to measure the intensity of the sound. Secondly, they did the same with the air-conditioned unit turned on for two hours. They measured the temperature of the room using the thermometer. They set the alarm clock at the specific time that they were ready to record the data. They recorded the intensity of the sound using a decibel, this time in a cold temperature. They gathered the data and compared the relationship of the intensity of the sound with two temperatures specified. Hypothesis 6 the sixth hypothesis states that the, the higher of the temperature of the vicinity, the louder the volume of the sound emitted by the light and sound emitting solar power the alarm clock. The independent variable in the hypothesis is the temperature, while the dependent variable is the, loud, the, the loudness of the volume of the sound from the person. Process. The investigators conducted the study in an air-conditioned room. First, they conducted the experiment without the air-conditioned unit turned on for two hours. They measured the temperature of the room using a thermometer. They set the alarm in a specific time that they were ready to record the data. They used a decibel to measure the intensity of the sound. Secondly, they did the same with the air conditioned unit turned on for two hours. They measured the temperature of the room using the thermometer. They set the alarm clock at a specific time that they were ready to record the data too. They recorded the intensity of the sound using a decibel, this time in a cold temperature. They gathered the data and compared the relationship of the intensity of sound with two temperatures specified. To ensure accuracy and precision in the course of experimentation, we use decibel as a device that measures the loudness of the sound of our light and sound emitting solar powered alarm clock. We also used measuring materials like measuring tapes and rulers. We also conducted different trials and experimentations. For us as investigators, we find the relationship of the range and the loudness of the sound to be interesting. They are inversely proportional to each other which means that if the range decreases, the loudness of the sound increases. This is said to be interesting because we, when we tested this, we really find this awesome. Our investigation can imply to the users of the light and sound emitting solar-powered alarm clock that they will have a normal sleep cycle and that they will really be annoyed by the sound like what other ordinary alarm clocks have. With the help of the light that is emitted, users will wake up easily. We would like to commend our future researchers to truly understand the concept of their study by heart. If they so, their flow of, of investigation would be smooth. They also would decide or think of a topic that will not only help themselves but also for the betterment of the society they live in.